Fedmart was a chain of discount department stores started by Saul Price that operated from 1954 to 1982. Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Please leave a suggestion or a comment and maybe you might see that video in a future posting. Thanks for watching and now back to the program. The General Store, where folks could find most everything they needed and at low prices. That idea is still alive. Come discover FedMart, America's greatest general store. At FedMart, you save on produce, meat, clothing, appliances, and so much more. You see, FedMart believes if you give folks quality at a low price, you've got a customer for life. Discover FedMart, America's greatest general store. After visiting a Fedco in 1953, Saul Price had an idea to open his own version of the store called FedMart. He was convinced that he had found the perfect fit for his mother-in-law's empty warehouse at 2380 Main Street, a retail tenant modeled on the successful format developed by Fedco in Los Angeles. The business name FedMart was a variation of the Fedco name and served not only as the public identification of the store but also the name of the FedMart Corporation, a nonprofit corporation whose mission was to serve the shopping needs of federal workers and their families. Opening a membership Dell store in a warehouse in an industrial area of San Diego broke just about all conventions in 1950s retailing. The warehouse site was situated almost directly across the street from the tuna canning factories and not far from the 32nd Street United States Navy Depot. To begin with, shoppers had to qualify for memberships by working for the federal government or being veterans. They were required to purchase a $2 lifetime membership in order to shop. In contrast to other retailers, FedMart was open 12.30 to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday. The shopping hours were designed for the convenience of civil servants and military families who were found that evening shopping was more convenient. Most products were sold self-serve except for jewelry. Compared to the department stores that might offer 15 models of an item, FedMart offered two or three. FedMart members paid for merchandise with cash or a check, although credit was available for larger purchases such as furniture. The store's range of products included mattresses, clothing, luggage, furniture, hardware, housewares, sporting goods, appliances, cigarettes, and liquor. FedMart refused to sell products whose prices were protected by fair trade laws. From the day that FedMart opened, for business on December 3rd, 1954, the store was an immediate and spectacular success. Saul never wanted FedMart to be labeled a discount store, so he came up with a new description, low margin retailer. His approach was to start with the cost of the product and to mark up the product as little as possible so that the gross margin covered the selling costs and left a small profit for the FedMart investors. Saul was constantly looking for new product categories for the FedMart members. In addition to being the first to sell food and non-food merchandise in the same store, FedMart was also the innovator in selling prescription medicines at lower prices than traditional drug stores. FedMart's drive to find new ways to bring lower prices to its members eventually led to the introduction of its own brand, the FM brand. One of the fundamental requirements for the FM brand was that the quality of the product be equal to or better than the equivalent branded product and sell for significantly less. The FM brand became so well accepted that a photo of Cesar Chavez was taken showing him drinking a can of FM cola with the caption, what kind of a man drinks Fedmark cola? Saul pioneered large consumer package sizes. The examples that he frequently pointed to were powdered washing machine detergent and liquid bleach. The largest detergent box sold in the grocery stores was tied at 84 ounces. Using the FM brand, FedMart sold a 20 pound tub of detergent. An even larger size was tried, but customers found the size just too heavy to carry to the checkout stands. Saul's business philosophy was that he wanted a long-term relationship with the FedMark member built on loyalty and trust. 
Low margin pricing and high quality merchandise were fundamental features to this long term relationship. Even the refund policy was designed to reinforce loyalty. Everything we sell is guaranteed unconditionally. We will give an immediate cash refund to any customer not completely satisfied with the purchase made at Fedmark. No questions asked. Does this return policy sound familiar? Have you heard of Price Club? How about Costco? The policy sounds the same because they were from the same founder, Saul Price. Membership requirements were dropped in the 1960s and Fedmart became a non-membership discount store. In 1969, the company became public and its stock traded on the American Stock Exchange. By 1975, Fedmart had 44 stores in California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Fedmart was sold in May of 1975 to retailers from Germany. The new owners were unsuccessful in remaining true to the principles that had built Fedmark into a well-respected retail business. In December of 1975, Saul Price was fired. He went on to found the Price Club. Fedmart purchased the 22-store West Coast division of Two Guys from Vornado in 1977 and the 10 store Globe store chain from Walgreens in 1978. By 1979, Fedmark had 70 stores. By the early 1980s, Fedmart began to lose money and started to close stores, mostly outside of California. There were 46 stores left when Hugo Mann, president of the company, decided to close the chain in 1982 and lease the store locations to other retail firms. I'm sorry to say to John Drennan that Fedmark closed after 28 years of business. 35 of the locations were leased to Target and the rest were released to Ralph's grocery stores. The closing of Fedmark allowed Target an entry into the highly competitive Southern California marketplace. The story of Fedmark was viewer suggested by Juan Serrano. Thank you for your suggestions and comments. And yes, I do read and respond to your comments. So please watch and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.